Between world leaders at an international conference in Munich, German Chancellor Angela Merkel rejected President Trump's claims that foreign cars are a security threat, highlighting BMW's biggest plant is not in Germany but in the Palmetto State. And this debate heating up the same week of the South Carolina Automotive Summit in Greenville. And we talked to experts about how important the industry is to the state. 400 automotive companies, 60,000 employees, and $27 billion a year. That's the impact of the auto industry in South Carolina. And the bulk of that investment comes from foreign automakers. South Carolina is a global automotive powerhouse. We're home to BMW, Volvo cars, and Mercedes-Benz vans. Amy Tinsley, the executive director of the South Carolina Automotive Council, says the Palmetto State is number one in the nation for exporting completed vehicles and tires. And today's automotive summit in Greenville is aimed at growth. We're trying to uh, keep those dollars here in South Carolina. We're trying to help our smaller, small and medium companies grow, and this is a way for them to do that. Of course, what started it all was BMW. It's been 25 years since the first BMW rolled off the lot here in South Carolina, and during that time, the company has manufactured more than 4 million vehicles in the upstate. Which is why this crowd wasn't surprised to hear German Chancellor Angela Merkel give a shout out to the Palmetto State in her efforts to convince the Trump administration foreign cars are not a national threat. South Carolina is einer der größten, dort ist das größte BMW Werk, nicht in Bayern, in South Carolina. Later this week, one of the many noted speakers will address trade and policy. We are constantly monitoring that. It's a complex issue, and ultimately, you know, we want a, a solution that allows us to remain economically competitive because when you look at at South Carolina, the success that we've had is because we are economically competitive. Yeah, and that three day summit also includes other speakers from uh, top automotive makers like Volvo, Bosch, and Michelin, the suppliers there. Even Governor McMaster is expected.